Hi everybody, Bear Samad here. And today I want to talk about how you can rapidly heal your gut, your intestinal lining. Now most people go carnivore because they find a great relief in their autoimmune symptoms by removing all fibers. It makes sense because fibers can be very abrasive to the gut lining. However, eating lots of steak and meat and lean chicken does not have the nutrition necessary to build and repair the gut lining. It's simply not in those cuts of meats. And I'm going to explain to you the cut of meat that you do need. And I'm going to ask you guys to bear with me through this video because it's very important you understand what you're doing when you consume this type of cut that I'm about to suggest to you. Because for most people, you're not gonna have the digestive capacity to digest and absorb all of this fat, bone marrow, and collagen. It's uh, most modern bodies are simply not adapted to it. Okay, so bear with me and go through the whole video so you don't harm yourself and you know face severe nausea. You may get very nauseated. But we're going to try to avoid that by clarifying a few things and um, hopefully this helps you out. So what do you need? You need to consume an oxtail soup. Okay, and I'm going to get into this and why specifically this cut. The oxtail is by far the most fattiest, the most collagen rich, and the most bone marrow rich cut on the ox or bull. It has by far the most collagen, the most bone marrow, and the most saturated fat, and it's very little protein. Now this oxtail soup is very different from muscle meat. Muscle meat doesn't have these nutrients. Muscle meats and steaks, which most carnivores are on, it doesn't have the bone marrow. It doesn't have the collagen content. It doesn't have the extreme concentrated source of saturated fat and cholesterol. It's mainly just red meat. And if you're familiar with my work, such as nutritional fortification and physical development or the vegan agenda exposed, my point is not that red meat is what we're lacking. The conspiracy and the thing that we need and which has been, which we have been deprived of is saturated fat and cholesterol. And the steaks are not a great source of this. You need animal fat and saturated fat and cholesterol you need the stem cells, the bone marrow, and the collagen from the animal in order to rebuild the intestinal lining. If you want to get off this carnivore diet and not be so limited and be able to tolerate other plants again, you're going to need this oxtail soup. The muscle meats are just not going to cut it. It does not have the nutrition needed to rebuild the gut lining. Now where I'm from in Afghanistan, there is a very ancient sport that is practiced uh, and it's called buz kashi, which means uh, goat grabbing. And it's essentially an ancient form of polo, but instead of using a ball, the horse riders, the uh, horse riders use um, the headless carcass of a goat. And the goal and objective of the game is to throw this carcass into the opponent's goalpost. It's a very dangerous and brutal sport. There's always injuries and broken shoulders because they can throw you down from the horse. So there's a lot of injuries, and it's kind of a, kind of a uh, no bars hold game essentially. And these sports players, the primary dish that they value for themselves is oxtail and oxtail soup. And before liver, before kidney, before brain, before muscle meats, they value this oxtail soup. And the reason for this is because they understand that this particular cut and the soup which can be extracted from it has the highest concentration of nutrients needed to rebuild and repair the body, the ligaments, the bones, the tissues, the intestinal lining, it literally has the glue needed to repair a body. If you look at the intestinal lining, it's not really muscle meat, it's not muscle. Uh, it's a collagenous tissue rich with cartilage and marrow and stem cells, so you need a bone marrow cut for this. So how do you prepare this oxtail soup that has such a high concentration of collagen and bone marrow and saturated fat? So this is important. What you need to do is first to source it, you're not going to find it at Western markets. You're going to have to go to an ethnic market. Most often if you go to a Mexican, Iranian, Arab, and sometimes Korean and Chinese markets, they'll have this cut, the oxtail. So obtain it that way. Once you've obtained it and you bring it home, you want to boil it in water for about five to 10 minutes. And this is going to bring all the impurities up to the surface and you want to discard of that. Uh, the oxtail can have some impurities. It's a very fatty cut. And depending on the health of the animal, you know, you may want to boil it in order to get rid of these things. So once you boil it for five minutes and the impurities rise to the surface, 
discard of that, discard of the water, then you're going to want to put the oxtail into a pressure cooker. And you're going to want to fill the pressure cooker with filtered water or spring water, fill it with the oxtail cuts. Um, the recipe that I use is just that I, I dice up an onion, dice up a few garlic cloves, a handful of cilantro, dice that up and throw it in. Uh, two, three carrots, cut those up and throw it in, and then salt and pepper. So again, salt, pepper, cilantro, garlic, onion, and carrot. And this kind of will give the broth and the soup a very sweet flavor. You don't have to be afraid of the plants. This food is very powerful. It, it'll heal your gut. There are other recipes online you can find, but this is the one I use. It's very simple. Bring the pressure cooker up to a boil. Once it starts boiling, don't cover it yet, but once it comes to a boil, um, bring it down to a simmer, uh, shut the pressure cooker, put the lid on top and shut the pressure cooker, bring up the heat once again, and once the pressure cooker starts whistling uh, and is filled to the brim with steam, and just, you know, there's a mechanism for a pressure cooker to uh, signal that it has been fooled with steam, it stops whistling. You want to bring it down to a simmer again. Make sure you don't have the lid on for long periods of time uh, at high heat. You want to have this thing cooking on a simmer with the lid closed. And you want to let this thing boil for about an hour and a half minimum. Two, three hours is ideal. Once you're done, be very careful to turn down the heat, turn off the heat, and let the steam uh, evaporate from the pressure cooker naturally. This may take half hour to an hour. Do not attempt to open it before that, the thing will blow in your face. Please look into how, you, how to use a pressure cooker before you do this. It can be a very dangerous um, cooking utensil. Once it's all settled and the steam has dissipated, and you open up the pressure cooker, do not consume the broth there immediately. You're going to get very nauseated and very sick. It's a very potent, rich source of cholesterol, fat, bone marrow, collagen. And it's going to taste very good initially, but you will not be able to digest it. Let me give an example. When I first let my wife try this soup, and I had been giving her steaks and giving her lots of fats prior to this or so, I thought she was well adapted. But when she had first tried the soup, she ended up becoming very nauseated. Although initially when she, when she first had it, you know, she tasted it, she said, wow, it's amazing. She loved the taste, she felt good. And she ended up having two cups. And several hours later, she had uh, incredibly horrible nausea throughout the night. She couldn't sleep all night, and I had to kind of take care of her. However, when she did finally fall asleep around 7 a.m. and then woke up the next day around 1, 2 p.m., she realized that two of her wisdom teeth had popped through the gums. Her submerged wisdom teeth literally popped through the gums, and that occurred because this is such a rich source of nutrition. Vitamin A, D, cholesterol, saturated fat, bone marrow, collagen, it literally builds the body. It's a most powerful food. One dose made her wisdom teeth grow in. So be very careful. Now what I suggest is what you do, once it's done the, and the steam has distilled or evaporated, let it cool down and place it in the refrigerator. After several hours in the refrigerator, the fat and collagen is going to separate. And at that point, you can consume it, take it out of the refrigerator, and you will see that the fat has risen to the top and this gelatinous collagen is at the very bottom. And it's a very rich source of nutrition. And what you want to do is take like, um, let's say three fourth a cup of the collagen and one fourth cup of the fat, put it back in a small pot and uh, just heat it up, bring it to a simmer, and then you can drink that. And start slow. Now to make this far more powerful, there's three supplements that I recommend. You don't have to use them but I do believe if you incorporate these supplements, it's going to be just far more potent and, and powerful at rebuilding the gut lining. The first one is you want to take uh, gallbladder and ox bile. And I recommend Ancestral Supplements. They're an amazing company. And this stuff will just make sure that you are able to get the most out of this food. It's going to help digest the fats for you, the gallbladder and ox bile. Um, Amazing supplement. It really just melts fat in your intestines if you have difficulty digesting fat. Uh, the second supplement is intestines from the same company, Ancestral Supplements. And I'd recommend this because it's going to have uh, another addition of the raw building blocks needed to repair the intestine. Alone, this supplement, I don't think it's enough because you need the fat and the collagen and the bone marrow. But if you add the intestinal supplements to it, you're just going to have a plethora of that much more nutrition, which is uh, uh, 
particularly designed and aimed at healing the intestinal tract. So that's the second one. And the third one is deer placenta. And I recommend the deer placenta from this company called Dragon Herbs. It's by far my favorite supplement I've ever experimented with. And I recommend this supplement because it is a very potent source of stem cells. And adding the stem cells in this soup is basically gonna allow you to be able to better rebuild uh, the cells in your body which are dead, dying, and depraved of nutrition. It's, uh, stem cell therapy essentially is a way of reversing the aging process. It really is. So again, those are the three supplements I recommend. Uh, the stem cells, the uh, gallbladder to help digest the fats, and the intestinal supplement to help target the intestines as well. With this bone marrow collagen soup or oxtail soup, it's an amazing source. It's our amazing source of fat and cholesterol, amazing source of bone marrow and collagen. And it's very different from the lean cuts of meat. It's not a steak. The steaks don't have this nutrition. All you're getting is protein from that. And protein really doesn't feed the intestinal tract. It feeds the muscles, but it doesn't feed the ligaments, the cartilage, and the intestines. Now, I'm going to pin a comment in the comment section, and it's going to be a link to a PDF explaining all of this again. The, how to source the oxtail, the, the recipe I just described, how to cook it in the pressure cooker, and I'm going to try to add images to it so that it's much easier for you guys. I'll also have the supplements I recommended there in that same comment as well, so that you can just have a place to go to. I know this all sounds kind of confusing without showing you the imagery and all that, and many people are visual learners, but I will make the PDF and pin it in the comment section, and I hope that will be able to help you guys. So if you have any questions, guys, go ahead and leave your comments below. I'll answer them when I have time. I hope you guys found this video helpful. Give it a like, uh, share, and subscribe. Thank you all and have a wonderful day.